What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Slab Train. Welcome, guys, back to Need for Speed Underground 2. And today, we're going to be finally spending some of this damn cash that I got. I got $5,423, so we should be able to blow a nice chunk of it in this performance shop right now. So let's go in and have a look at this here. Now, what's funny is, actually, this entire time, I've been playing this game with my e-brake for A. Congrats on all that burn-up you've been doing out there. To keep it up, you're going to need to keep your ride wired tight, and these guys can help you do it. Okay. This is the upscale version of Mega Low Parts. They have all the premium gear you need to outfit your ride for max performance. Check it out. Thanks, girl. Anyways, yeah, so what I was just saying, though, I've been using A for my e-brake, but it's actually B, so I haven't even really yanked the e-brake once. So I'm a little bit confused what the hell I was thinking on that, man. So we're going to hopefully be able to uh, rip some nice slides this time. Can we do anything? Oh, we can do tranny. Let's do some tranny. Alright, so we got transmission going in here. We're going to do some Skunk 2 and HKS on that. Um, in terms of suspension, we already have. We don't have any. Ooh, we got NOS. Let's go. Let's go uh, Nitrous Express. Ah, let's go NOS. Why not? All right, so we have NOS in there. Brakes. We can't do anything else as of yet. So, we have some nice new parts in this thing. So, what actually I think I'm going to do is I'm going to dyno this thing. And we're going to see how much we're pushing and what we can get out of this here. Um, and maybe even you know tune this for some drifting and see uh, what we can do If you want to squeeze the most speed out of your ride then you're gonna need to spend some time here Hit the dyno and the test track to tweak your performance settings for maximum power Okay Sounds good to me. All right, so let's tune some settings for some drifting here Jeez, that took forever. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, so let's go into tuning right now. We have NOS now as well, Yo, which is like nice. This. Suspension controls how your ride reacts to changes in terrain and sideways forces like cornering. The suspension components work like a team and must be tuned together for them to work properly. A general tuning guideline is to adjust your sway bars, then your shocks, followed by your springs. <laughs> okay, we're going to do it my way, sir. So, what I'm planning on doing this is keeping everything nice and loose in the fr in the back, and then going with a slightly um, upgraded in the, uh, in the front. You're going to want to adjust your acceleration and top speed. Modify your tranny's final drive ratio to get you. Yo, listen here. Your electronic control unit regulates air and fuel mixtures to your engine timing. Remapping the ECU gives you the ability to fine tune engine power at each RPM and squeeze some serious power out of your ride. Know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. All right, not too shabby. We're going B I G B. All right, we are all set. This guy talks too damn much. When the cool gas is ejected into your engine, tune it up, bro. Woo! That's a damn nice cutscene though. I'll tell him that right now. I miss cutscenes like that. We don't see a lot of them anymore. So, we gave suspension a massive, massive uh, acceleration. Oh, excuse me. Let's see how this e brake works here. Here we go. Jeez, man. We still need more power on this. Oh, no. Maybe I should just have this first gear going instead. You know what? Let's try that. We're going to uh, tune this first gear up. Or not tune the first gear, but we're going to leave, you know, maybe more to top speed. And that way, our first gear is going to maybe hopefully get some more final drive on that first gear. But it doesn't look like it right now. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, we are neutral on this right now. 
We definitely need some more power, though. I'll tell you that right now. I figure what Nas is on this game. Right bumper? No. Okay. I mean, once that we actually get some speed going, it's not that bad. But obviously, on these tighter sections, though, this 8 6 kind of has an issue. You just have to lightly tap that e brake and it slowly comes out. And the key, though, is to sit on these striped lines. Once you sit on these striped lines, you actually get a lot better points. Oh! So once you get it closer to the wall, right? Which is obviously the main thing to make it look nice. I'm really uh, only best with this outside line right here, though. Damn, though, this thing does not like to come out. 